Hello YouTube. What we're gonna do today, besides this, I'm gonna carry this every day, is I'm gonna do some carving, sawing, cutting everything with my curved saw lock blade. I have it in another video. These are a feather stick. I am no good at it. And this is cedar, just so you know, this is a soft part. Feathers is when you just do a whole lot of like that and then you got something when you if you get your tinder going and then you're uh, you know you're using your ferro rod so basically what that is it should be actually a skinnier piece but I did carve down in here this is pretty hard it took a lot of pressure on my thumb but I sharpened this with the Smith's sharpening and with the Arkansas stone. So this thing is honed to just a razor edge. It will shave the hair off your arm. I'm losing the hair on my arm on part of here because I've been practicing with knives. So now my arm, both arms are bald right there now. Anyway, back to the subject. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we're going to baton with it. This is my old beater thing from last year half it's gone I finally broke it in half this was walnut but I still saved it so we're gonna put the knife edge about right in here you want some sticking out and I'm not afraid to I watch videos on batoning wood you can baton wood with a lawnmower blade if don't want anybody wants to dispute me I'll do it you put an edge on a lawnmower blade and you baton it through wood you take a plain piece of metal okay so we can do that with it, okay? Now, for little stuff like this is what I this is what I've always did. Don't sit there and try this and hurt yourself. Just stick your knife in it like that, okay? And then that that's the way you do it. When I was a kid, if I wanted to make sticks. Oh, the hunting knife, we just stick our tip in there and be on a stump. Don't come down on your hand. So you get the idea. Okay. That's how you make your little sticks. And this will all get used, won't go to waste. And the serrations. Mostly for cutting camo cord and stuff and rope, you know, any kind of rope. But, I want to get off camera here too far. But it will saw through this kind of stuff. Not very good. Oh, I lost a little bit. Not, not really good for doing that. Probably better with green stuff. So it will saw, but we'll get back up here again with our stick. Turn around so you can see it out there. So it's nothing to do that with us. I mean. I wouldn't be banging in a big two inch piece of wood. I wouldn't take something like this, try to baton it with my little knife. I'm not ruining my knife. It might only been 20 bucks, but still. We'll go, I am no good at doing this. I have been practicing. I even try to live, I even try to get in here and shave real thin. Anybody can do it on green wood, I believe, but I am no good at doing this. We'll, we'll finish this off here because I want to show how one bushcrafter uh, guy that I watch he's up in Alaska this is what he'll make and then break them off so you got these nice little for fire starting like I said you get your tinder and your stuff to start with your ferro rod or even use matches your zippo lighter I mean you, you've got the start of a fire and this is really good wood cedar for can it's really super dry so I think we've about covered it I want to keep this under five minutes uh, we'll do a real quick whittle on a stick this is pretty soft except the red purpley pink part but I'm really happy with this knife uh, for what I paid for it, it's good enough steel. It's not too soft. It took a little work with the diamond stones to sharpen this thing, so it's not wimpy steel. And some of that cheap steel could be also too hard too. I've got a pocket knife, but cheap one. It's hard. It's so hard to sharpen even today. It's junk. I won't even. I may show it someday, but 
the Ozark Trail. It's got the brown scales on it, the big old $9 one. It's so hard to sharpen. It's just a really tough riddle. But there you go. We just went over five minutes. That's all we get today on this. I'm happy that's a nice little knife to carry and you'll do all that nice small stuff. Say you want to cook a can of soup on a little fire. So you, that's all you need. So thanks for watching. I'll leave you just a couple pictures.